Hi, and welcome to the Kale Hauser Leadership Secrets Podcast. Today, I want to let you know that no one cares that you are a fighter pilot. Welcome back to the Kale Hauser Leadership Secrets Podcast. I'm Kale Hauser. Thank you for joining me today. I very much appreciate you giving me your time. Uh, hopefully that little intro gave you, uh, piqued your curiosity as to what we're going to discuss today. Um, nobody cares that you're a fighter pilot. Nobody cares that you were a fighter pilot. And if you continue to keep telling people that you were a fighter pilot, they're not going to care about you. All right. So the story behind this is, there is a story behind this, as with most things that I'm going to talk about over the course of this podcast, is I had a supervisor who was a former fighter pilot, which at its base level, that's pretty awesome, right? Um, fighter pilots, they're kind of the elite of our society. It takes a lot of work to get there. You have to be a mix of hard work, dedication, and probably a little bit of luck. I am not a fighter pilot. I have never been a fighter pilot. I've known fighter pilots, uh, both on active duty and, and off. Uh, most of them are pretty great dudes, but pilots in general, if you're aware, kind of have a reputation of whether it be arrogance or cockiness or kind of, you know, the um, the top of the top, right? You got that top gun mentality of I'm the best, you know, the Iceman kind of whole mentality stuff, which is, of course, ridiculous. But needless to say, they have a reputation, right? A, I'm a pilot kind of mentality. And when you, so in this scenario, uh, let me get back to this and, and lay this groundwork. So in this scenario, I had a supervisor, not my direct supervisor, essentially my boss's boss, but uh, I had talked to the supervisor a total of five times throughout my employment. And none of any of those times did that supervisor or did that uh, manager know or remember who I was. Uh, obviously not on the first one, because that was our intro, we'd never talked before, but not on the second, third, fourth, fifth, or or following. And Furthermore, every time that we had a conversation, whether it was on the phone, we only met in person once, and that was kind of in a group setting, every time he felt compelled to tell me or remind me, however you wanna look at it, about him being a former fighter pilot. Cool. It was, it's an interesting intro, it's an interesting fact about his life, because obviously he's very proud of it, right? It's, it's an accomplishment, and he should be. That is, that is quite a feat and an accomplishment to do. And that's an interesting fact that we can be like, oh, that's really neat. You know, that kind of goes hand in hand and that's that's something that's interesting to hear about. But on the second time, I was like, okay, does he even remember that he told me that before? On the third time I go, okay, now I'm starting to get the picture. This is him trying to impress upon me his importance and his level of achievement about being a fighter pilot and how that was supposed to somehow either endow loyalty to him or endow some sort of subservience to him as far as um, like being in awe, right? I would kind of look at it like that, like kiss the ring kind of a mentality. And there's a couple things that are wrong with that thinking, if this is you. And it doesn't have to be a fighter pilot, right? It can be anything, you know, think about your industry, like in your industry, are there certain positions or achievement levels that are higher than than others? You know, maybe you're a chief of police, uh, chief, you know, chief of the fire department, something of that nature. Maybe you're the top salesman at your your past company, you know, with multiple millions of dollars in revenue and sold product. You're kind of the creme de la creme of whatever that situation. And now you go around saying, you know, hey, I was the number one Amway salesman in the continental United States, right? Which is cool. It probably took a lot of work for you and dedication for you to do that. But there are two things about that that you have to understand. One is your audience probably doesn't understand what it took for you to get there. I would say the average person, you know, not in the military, the, you know, John Deere, John, John Deere, John Doe, Jane Doe, you meet out in the street, probably don't understand what it takes to become a fighter pilot. What it takes to be the top Amway salesman in this example, or the top salesman in your company. What it takes to be the fire chief of New York City. Like people don't understand that because it's not on their level. It's not in their normal thinking. You know, most of us have seen Top Gun, right? We we've seen uh, the excitement and the drama and everything of being a fighter pilot. That's what people's mentality of a fighter pilot is. Is what our entertainment industry has showed us on average. 
So what I'm leading into is you as the person who are sharing the story, if this is you, if this is if you're relating to what I'm saying that like, oh, yeah, that's my kind of go to story about trying to impress people is that on the surface, it may be kind of impressive, but the reality is it's not because we can't relate to it. Your audience it's a cool fact. It's like going up and telling somebody, I was a Navy SEAL. You know, there, there's people in this space, you know, business development and leadership consulting that they were former Navy SEALs, which is phenomenal. We all have a basic concept of what that takes and how difficult that is and the commitment and the mental fortitude you have to take, have to have as well as the physical. But your average American can nowhere near relate to that. That is not anywhere near a part of their daily life. Even people that are super into fitness or things of that nature, the, the Navy SEAL level is entirely outside of their realm of possibility, let alone achievement themselves. So using that and constantly reminding people of that is cool. It's, you know, it's a great intro and it kind of sets the stage a little bit of like, okay, I'm dealing with a serious person who's able to accomplish tasks and goals and, and get things done no matter the cost, right? In the Navy SEAL example. Um, but that may not be applicable to whatever situation you're using that for in in that introduction. Okay, so I want to take it back. You know, so like I said, twofold. Of one is knowing your audience. Is this going to be beneficial? Yeah. If you're a, a, around a bunch of other fighter pilots or pilots in general, you can be like, yeah, I used to fly the you know, pick your airframe, you know, F-16 or the F-18 or whatever other platforms are, are common for fighter pilots out there and that would be in that group they would understand what that meant and and how impressive that was and they would treat you accordingly um, but outside of that realm outside of that specific um, audience it's not as effective so be cautious of how you're using it the second is are you using that as purely a way to if that's your inspirational way to inspire people, again, it goes back to they don't connect with it. You have to meet them on their level. So how I wanna get around this is thinking about, this all goes back to connection, right? Are you using it as a, as a way to break the ice and form connection is understanding your audience and figuring out a better way to connect with them. All right, so that's a great icebreaker. Yeah, you know, this is what I used to do. And it's no different than me telling you, yeah, you know, in high school, I was the top waiter in Applebee's, right? If, if you worked at Applebee's as a waiter and you were, you know, had the most tips every night and sold the most beers and desserts and appetizers and all the upsells, okay? It's cool, but it doesn't really matter, right? Everyone with me on this? Nobody cares that you are a fighter pilot uh, back in the day. How does it apply and is relevant to your current situation? Okay, and the other part of this, and I wanna to touch on this real briefly, especially in this, this story that I'm relating to you about this, my boss's boss and his interaction with me, never once remembered my name or had remembered that we had interacted in the previous or the previous two, previous three, previous four interactions. And as, let me tell you, you know, as an employee, that is demoralizing. That is like, holy smokes, this dude, I'm not even important enough for this guy to remember my name, let, or remember that he met with me, let alone remembered my name. Um, so I want to encourage you, because this is part of my um, PDF that I've got, the 10 most inspiring words every leader must use. Uh, go to kalehauserleadership.com and download it now. And part of that, and one of those is using people's names. You should understand the importance of that, right? When we hear our name, we connect with that and it makes us feel kind of good inside. Like, oh, cool, that guy, you know, or that gal remember my name. That's really neat. Um, so we need to, as leaders in our businesses, we need to be able to do that. But I wanted to touch base as this story is of, you know, you're, you're probably not a fighter pilot. You know, I, I'm very doubtful that there are many fighter pilots that are listening to this podcast right now. But you and your business, as the business leader, how are you treating your people and how are you interacting with them? You don't want to become, and we've all seen this in, in 
certainly in movies they make fun of it all the time you know one that pops to my head is office space right with the guy that has the jump to conclusions uh big idea and he's like hey i had an idea once you know and they're like, oh really what was it you know he's like i jumped to conclusions matt and they kind of go through the process you know because the the guy's completely clueless of his audience and he's already told this story uh, many times evidently um, and certainly we probably have maybe a grandparent or even a parent that has reaching that stage as we get older uh, we start reflecting more and holding on to those critical moments in our on our life and we want to share that with others and retell those stories over and potentially over and potentially over and over and over and not being aware of how many times we've shared it or the audience that we're sharing it to so i want to caution you if you find that you, whether as a business leader or even just out with friends and you're in a social setting and meeting new people, what goes through your brain as far as how you're gonna connect with them? Is it that big claim, I was a fighter pilot or I was this or that? And I want you to kind of really analyze why you're telling that story. What about that is appealing to your audience, okay? So I would highly encourage you to write that down if you have like, hey, my go-to story is X, Y, Z. And then maybe under it, right, these are other interesting things that I can talk about, whether it be with my employees or with um, strangers that I meet, whether it's social networking parties or other business conferences. So I hope that was helpful for you today. And you got a little, you know, funny, like, again, nobody cares that you're a fighter pilot. It's important to you. And it certainly is an accomplishment to be celebrated in the right circles. Uh, but as a general rule of thumb, cool fact bro let's move on <laughs> so thank you so much for hanging out with me today i do appreciate your time uh, be sure to head over to kalehauserleadership.com check out that free pdf i've got for you guys as a gift and uh, hopefully it'll bring some fantastic change to your organization as you start to, think, start to change your vocabulary have a fantastic afternoon, no matter where you're at in the world. As always, drop me an email at kale at kalehauserleadership.com uh, with any suggestions, tips, feedback. As always, welcome how I can improve the channel. Uh, if you want to um, talk about specific topics, I'd love to do that as well. Uh, likes and subscribes are always fantastic. Please make sure and share and tag. Have a great day.